Hello everyone, Kiris Cordera here, and I wanted to make a quick video to discuss a little bit more of the Resident Evil 4 Remake trailer, as well as where I think the franchise can go in the future. It's a relatively short trailer, but we get a good idea on what the game's tone is going to be. It is much darker visually and tonally, almost like it's borrowing from Resident Evil 3.5, which was what RE4 started out as originally. A game that was dark, took place in a gothic castle, and had Leon hallucinating about a Hookman entity. Environments look almost like something out of Resident Evil Village, although that game had heavy inspiration from Resident Evil 4 from the get-go. At the beginning of the trailer, we see the moment Leon is tasked with saving Ashley, something we didn't see in the original. Leon is noticeably glum throughout the trailer too, even talking briefly about what I assume is the incident in Raccoon City, with his dialogue saying, If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time, it can be different. Which I feel has a double meaning. One being Leon wants to make sure he doesn't lose another person, perhaps referencing Ada's death in RE2, but also maybe this is the developer's way of saying, hey, this is still Resident Evil 4, but it's going to be a bit different. The devs even said, this time the game is being developed to achieve state-of-the-art quality for a survival horror suitable for 2023 while preserving the essence of the original game. We aim to make the game feel familiar to fans of the series while also providing a fresh feeling to it. This is being done by reimagining the storyline of the game while keeping the essence of its direction, modernizing the graphics and updating the controls to a modern standard. So something in the vein of what we've seen with the previous Resident Evil remakes. As I mentioned earlier, Leon is noticeably depressed. I think this time around, the story will focus on the PTSD that Leon is experiencing from his horrifying encounters in Raccoon City. This is something that the remakes have been doing since the original Resident Evil remake, and that's allowing their heroes to be human. The horrors that Leon and Claire experience in Resident Evil 2 remake shape who they are at the end of that game. They react to the situation in a relatively realistic and human manner. Jill struggles with her own PTSD in Resident Evil 3 Remake, having nightmares of the mansion incident that was intensified by the introduction of Nemesis chasing her and her fellow STARS members down to try and kill them. Original Resident Evil 4 Leon was a snarky, one-line spewing action hero badass. You sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Bruh. It worked for that game and it was enjoyable, but I love that they're doing something new. Leon seems to be more serious and is definitely struggling with his mental health here. It humanizes Leon, and I think it'll make it more nerve-wracking when he's put into harrowing situations. As for the story, this is a reimagining that will keep elements of the original story intact, much like how the remakes have been doing things so far. This is a pretty cool opportunity for the Resident Evil continuity to go down a different path with its narrative. Hopefully we'll get a Code Veronica remake that follows the same design and allows for the series to reimagine events that can loosely reshape the canon. Visually, the game looks gorgeous so far. This will be the first Resident Evil built from the ground up for next-gen consoles, and it definitely shows. Environments look super detailed. Brief shots of the enemies being lit by torches look eerie. Even the brief glimpse of the lake looks great. Hopefully they'll be able to reach a new performance milestone with this game now that it isn't being held back by last-gen tech. So I'm pretty excited for this game to try something new with Resident Evil 4. This is a cool chance to embrace something different. The original will always be there to play if you aren't happy with the new direction of the remake. Lord knows we can play it on every device in existence. You could probably get that thing to run on an old Nokia phone too. So that's the video guys. I am Curious Corduroy. Please leave any of your thoughts in the comments down below. This was kind of an analysis video, sort of, <laughs> but I'm sure there's plenty of things in the trailer that I did not see that I missed. If there was anything in the trailer that you saw that I did not cover, feel free to throw them into the comments down below. What are your own theories on Resident Evil 4 Remake and what they're gonna do with the story or how they're gonna even handle Leon? Are you a big fan of the changes? Do you kind of prefer the way the games used to be? Uh, are you open-minded and ready for anything? Please leave those in the comments down below. Like the video if you made it this far. I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.